going to have to make sure it has. The body has to supply the brain with a constant supply of glucose or things go wrong. Glucose is the only molecule the brain can utilize. So therefore, every sugar that you take in, your body has to make it into glucose. But look at fructose. Fructose is the natural sugar that we get from like fruits. Okay? What is this? What is my. Is that any better? What is my structure? What's my formula of fructose? Same for glucose. Same as glucose. What? Whoa, wait a minute. What? Did I say that fructose is the simplest sugar that your body can use? No, I didn't. Structurally, Fructose is different. It has five points in the ring, not six. What's galactose? That's going to be what we call one of the more complex, but it only has the it only has two rings together. But you're thinking about lactose, galactose. It's stuff that we find in seeds, the sugar that we find in seeds. What is the formula for it? The same. C six H twelve O six. Wait a minute. How many points does it have in its ring? Six. How is it different from glucose? One of the functional groups is different. The OH on this side comes this way and glucose goes this way and galactose. Did I say galactose is the simplest sugar the body can use? No. Glucose is the simplest sugar that the body can use. But these sugars are found in stuff such as our ATP, our DNA, our RNA. All very important molecules for the body. When we go from having one carbon ring to two, we have now gotten into disaccharides. The yummy sugars, okay? Sucrose, for example, table sugar. Sucrose is a glucose and a fructose together. They have a bond that is formed between the glucose and the fructose, and it gives us what we term the disaccharide. Now, can the body use that sugar? Like if I were to take a spoon 
of table sugar and eat it? Can it use it in that molecular form? No. That's no. I have got to make sure that it can be broken. That the bond between the glucose and the fructose can be broken. What my body will do, if this is sucrose, what enzyme would be needed to break it down? An enzyme. Remember, an enzyme is going to be a protein. And a protein acting as an enzyme will take the ASE ending. So what enzyme would I need to break down sucrose? Sucrase. I would need my body, the cells, to pro What is the only thing a cell can produce? Protein. A protein. Proteins have got to do everything. So, I'm going to need my body to get make sure that I have some of the sucrase proteins, okay, this molecule would sit into that protein. I would use water. This is where you guys think about the water, okay? A water molecule would come in and split this bond, and I would get a glucose and a fructose. The body can immediately, if it needs it, use the glucose. If it needs more, it's going to have to alter the fructose. But it can be used. Does that make sense? Why am I trying to stress so heavily the glucose molecule? It's a simple sugar, but, but why? It's understanding how the body can help to break down the um, how it gets into the cells and how the cells use it in the simplest form. Glucose, being in the simplest form, is going to be able to cross the plasma membrane, go into the cytoplasm, go through glycolysis, give me two pyruvates, mm -hmm enter into the mitochondria, and by the time it's over, 36 to 38 ATPs. What is the only energy we have? ATP. Everything. Everything that requires energy is going to have to have this. Glucose is the only way we get it. Now, mind blowing, right? So, anytime I have more than just the simplest sugar. My body is going to have to have a way to break it down. If it's not already in the glucose form, my body is going to have to make it the glucose form. Now, once we get into our complex sugars. The ones that we do hear a lot about being bad for us because it's going to be the stuff like the bread, the potatoes, the pasta, the good stuff. Okay? Now, 
what we find, these are going to be long chains of the glucose. So, these are going to be polysaccharides, saccharide meaning sugar, poly, many, okay? They are going to be storage mo molecules. Now, when we begin to look at our plasma membrane, on that plasma membrane, you're going to see something that they'll usually represent like this, okay? Or maybe have a different structure to it. What they're trying to tell you on that plasma membrane, this is a chain of sugars. It serves many functions, which we'll get to. But when you hear the term or think of or hear a cell surface marker, it is a chain of sugars. Now, we're going to get into that, but kind of keep that in the back of your mind, okay? In animals, the way that we store excess glucose for a short period of time. We're going to store it in what's termed glycogen. So once we have the glucose molecule, and if my body is not demanding that I use all of that glucose, it will store it short term in my muscles and my liver in the form of glycogen. Glucagon, come in glucagon is going to come in when we deal with the gut brain peptides. When we are dealing with the brain and the gut communicating about the levels of either the fat in the body, the stores in the body, the sugars that are available. Okay? Now, when we talk about polysaccharides, a big one is, of course, starch. Earlier, I made the comment, we either eat a plant directly or we eat something that ate a plant. For our purposes, The cellulose that gets formed in plants, which is, of course, that part of that plant cell wall, all right? We don't have cell walls, okay? We also do not have the parasites in our guts to break it down. If we eat a plant directly, I don't know, I get me a great big huge salad. And I'm thinking, wow, I could just have all the salad I want. Why? I can have all the salad vegetables I want. And I don't have to worry about it creating any of the fat that's going to stay on my hips. Why? I do not have the parasite in my gut that breaks down that cellulose wall. The only thing I can do is chomp on it, swallow it, and let it go through my system as fiber, and then bada bing, bada boom, you know what happens with fiber. <laughs> Just think about it. Okay? So, for me, when I'm eating plants, well, for us, animals, humans, eating plants, we can get like some of the minerals and stuff out of it, but it goes through us as bulk, as fiber. Is it like that for other animals? No. Because how does a cow get to be 4,000 pounds eating 
plants. 